All right, guys, to improve your strokes and in general, your consistency with your, with your strokes, which is something you use a lot, especially when defending, the simplest thing to have a lot of improvement right away is to short up your backswing. So what do I mean by that? What we see the most with recreational players is that, you know, they think that they need to do all this to get to the ball. One, because it's probably more natural for your body to do big and then search for the ball. Two, because you might have an influence from tennis where, yeah, in tennis you need to loop, you need to create a motion, you need to create power. So remember that the dimensions of the court, of a paddle court, are very small. So what I want you to keep in mind is that because you don't have so much time in between shots, because the dimensions are small or smaller than in those sports that we just mentioned, you need to play more with the racket. Yes, you need a backswing. Yeah, my core is moving, my shoulders are moving, my hip is opening, but I need to start feeling that instead of me searching for the ball, which makes it way more difficult to hit clean, I'm going to think more of receiving the ball and then drive it. Yeah, receiving the ball and drive it. Also, by having a small backswing, it's like if the racket is a reference, yeah? So if my racket is here, I don't really know where it is. Like my brain doesn't have a reference of when my racket is going to hit. But if I have a good technique such as I freeze my preparation, I, even though I'm looking there, I see, I'm aware where my racket is. So then probably the chances of me hitting the ball cleaner are much higher because I have a reference and because of that reference I'm going to be able to push. Then you can be a little bit more elastic on the follow through. Yeah. So more restriction on the backswing, more elastic on the follow through. Now I have shared with you the importance of playing with a small or a smaller backswing. Actually the better player you are, the smaller and more compact you will look. So we like to develop this by using something behind you. The point of using, in this case, this roll-up is that I will take a position. My partner or coach is going to feed me simple balls where I will move with the small steps. I will have a nice preparation, but I don't want you to hit the roll-up. Yes, I want you to trust that from that small preparation, you are going to give me a nice and elastic follow through. So then you will see that the feeling of hitting the ball is not hitting anymore. It's like receiving and driving or receiving and pushing. Yeah, it's basically a beautiful feeling that will give you more consistency, more control, and will give you the chance to start understanding how to use the pace of the ball from the opponents, which is a very good thing to do. So let's see what happens here. So I go small and I drive, yeah? I go small, I drive. Notice my little steps to adjust to the ball. Also, I wouldn't like to see that you do small, but then you take a big step. So then <laughs> you are hitting behind, yeah? So be careful with how big your step is. I like to go with the small steps to understand the follow through, yes? Uh -huh. So then if I want more power, do I need a bigger backswing? No, I need a little bit more explosiveness on my shot. Yes, here, bam, yeah? I go here, bam, I go here. The backhand is no, no different. Remember that if we get picky with the technique, the left hand is the one taking the racket back and the right hand is the one impacting the ball. Then I would like to see that every time there is an action, there is a reaction. And remember, you don't need to exaggerate so much, just a little bit of a reaction, okay? So remember, don't hit the roll up, small, bam, yes, small, bam, yes, small, bam, yes, small, bam, okay? 
small. Bam. Notice the amount of steps I'm taking. Yeah, I don't want you to play. Boom. Yeah. A lot of little steps. Bam. Yeah. Adios. A good rhythm is counting to one, two, three, four. Bam. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Bam. Yes. One, two, three, four. Bam. Anyway. Big advice. Simple thing to do as everything in Tasty. Get your back swing smaller and suddenly your consistency and your shots will be much better right away. Have a good one.